What's up guys, it's Quincy with Coin Club Crypto. Welcome to my channel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and talk about it with your friends if you like what we have to talk about. Now today, we're gonna be going over XDC Pay. It's one of our new releases for a browser extension uh, web wallet for XDC, it's pretty sick. It's actually quite similar to Metabass, but it actually does quite a few other interesting things too. But what it basically allows us to do is, it allows us to manage all the different things on the XDC network with this new browser extension we just put out. And I'm gonna go over it, so let's check it out. So as you can see, I've got my little extension out here. I just put a thousand XDC into it to sort of like go over some of the features it has. You know, it's nothing new. But here, here we got, we, you know, you can buy and sell or buy and send. And actually when you buy, there are different uh, other exchanges that it'll actually send you to. Now, you can also add tokens, which actually we'll do real quick. So I'm going to add the SRX token or the store X token, the SRX token. And later on in this video, I will actually go on BitTrue over here and buy some with this XDC and send it to my SRX wallet. So, but yeah, we, we got uh, the ability to add tokens, pretty chill. And we can go over just different accounts we can create, add, import, and even connect your hard wallet, which is actually super cool. So you can go to different uh, good different networks like the mainnet, testnet, local host. This is usually something developers use, but uh, basically there's a whole host of features in here that allow you to you know, go to settings, info, whole host of features in here that allow you to manage your uh, web wallet kind of with ease. Now, kind of going into what I stated before, where I'm here on Bitru, of course, and there's actually two things I'm gonna do with you, doing here. One, I get asked the question a zillion times, um, how do you buy XDC? And uh, this, this isn't necessarily how you buy XDC, but this is how I buy XDC. So we'll go over that too in this video. But basically I'm on Bitru. I'm gonna show how you're gonna buy XRX, um, but ideally I'll show how I normally buy X XDC. But I'm gonna show how you can buy XRX using the web wallet. And yeah, maybe you can go out and download it. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below for people being able to use it themselves. And yeah, we'll check it out. So first off, let me grab my Bitru address. Oops. Let me grab my Bitru address. Let me send. And I'll send 800. There we go. Submit that. Boom, it should be on its way there. So we're gonna go to the exchange real quick. Is it gone? Yeah, my computer is the slowest on the on the face of the planet. Yeah, so I forgot that uh, Bitru takes a second for whatever their backend does to take to do whatever it needs to do. But we're ready to go. So uh, not only am I going to uh, show you that I'm going to buy SRX with XDC, but uh, I'll also explain how I buy XDC on Bitru normally because I get asked all the time, hey, Quincy, how do you buy XDC? I want to buy XDC. And Bitru is kind of my main, is kind of my favorite uh, exchange. Um, just mostly out of all the other big exchanges, I feel like Bitru does a pretty good job. Uh, and I've never really had problems with Bitru, although people have had plenty of problems with plenty of different exchanges, so maybe I'm just lucky. Uh, actually, I've had plenty of ex problems with any, uh, plenty of other exchanges too. I think Bitru is the only one that hasn't like stepped on my toes yet. But, um, but anywho, so, uh, normally, when I go to buy XDC on Bitru, what I typically do is I go to another exchange and I buy XRP or XLM first, come over to Bitru, move through. If I buy it XLM first, I'll go from XLM into XRP into XDC. But if I buy XDC or if I buy XRP first, I'll just convert from XRP to XDC. And for me, it seems to be the quickest way to do it because I'm able to utilize the exchange for the exchange. Um, I don't usually sign up for exchanges. I just explicitly use them for the mere fact that they're an exchange. But, uh, but yeah, that's typically how I do things. So let's take this USDC. Oops. Let's sell this XDC for uh, USDT. How unfortunate. That should have gone through. Then I should be able to come over to SRX, buy all the SRX that I need. Boom, it should be bought. 
It may take a second for the trades to go through, but I think we are good. Ah, uh, yes, it's taking just a moment. But the main thing is uh, I typically go into XLM or XRP before going into XDC on BitTrue or any other exchange. It just seems to be the quickest way to go about it. I try to stay as far away from dollars as possible. It sucks that I have to use USDT for this little example, but I try to stay away from USD, uh, USDT and USDC. Not because I don't like USDC, although I don't like USDT. Um, I just don't really like factoring in dollars for the most part. I don't really see a reason to unless I'm going to pay my bills. So, yeah. Uh, but let's let this go through. Boom, we got the SRX there. Now, it's time to withdraw this. Da, 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 da. And as I'm withdrawing this, uh, Vondi, make sure you're... V, make sure you uh, block my PIN code. And I'm going to take the 70. Yeah, let's just block this for just a moment. So hopefully the screen should be going black for a sec as I finish my uh, official information to, you know, to be able to do this. But the main thing is, the main thing is, is with the XDC pay uh, wallet, with the browser wallet, you're essentially able to do all the different things you're able to do with MetaMask beforehand, but you're able to actually manage your X XDC and XDC assets uh, with ease. So, Give me one second. Got to do bitch is really funny. Got to do the whole jump through hoops thing, bitch true. But uh, and we're back once again. As you can see, the SRX went through. I was able to send XDC from my XDC or XDC pay wallet, buy XRX on uh, Bitru, and then send it back to my XDC wallet. Now. One of the biggest things that I think is really cool about this is now when it comes to decentralized exchanges operating on uh, XDC, on the XDC network, now we have a native mechanism of being able to integrate a browser extension like MetaMask into that to make it a lot more easier for people to interact with these decentralized exchanges. I think this right here could essentially be the, uh, the, uh, the stepping stone to a lot of these broader uh, innovations on XDC that we already see on other networks, but it will essentially allow for that seamless accessibility for participants to engage. And I think that's like the coolest part of all of this. It may seem, some, seem like it's really simple, but uh, that's the thing. The simplest things really do have like some of the biggest, uh, some of the biggest graphs to them, you know? But, uh, but yeah, I hope you're able to enjoy this video, be able to see what we've got, see what we've been able to do here. I hope you've been able to sort of even learn, you know, some things you can do with XDC and how you're able to buy XDC. I know I, I went over it briefly, but uh, it's just one of those things where uh, a lot of these technologies coming out are really changing the game for how we're able to interact with some of these newer networks. And uh, this just happens to be one of them. But uh, super excited and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Uh -huh.